Hi, I'm Vic Frelicker. I'm a cardiologist and a professor of medicine who has worked with the Stanford athletes for the past 20 years. The electrocardiogram, also known as the ECG or EKG, can be used to screen athletes for heart conditions that can cause sudden cardiac death. In order to make accurate diagnoses, placement of the electrodes and connections of the wires to them is very important. The purpose of this brief video is to review the basics of electrode placement for the ECG. Now a word about skin prep. If there is excessive chest hair, use a razor blade to remove it. Wipe areas on the chest and the inner surface of the arms and legs with an alcohol pad, and after that dries, then rub it a bit with a gauze pad. The skin must be rubbed to remove oils, dirt, and loose skin in order to improve the ECG tracing. Limb lead electrode placement is relatively easy. Have the athletes laying flat on a comfortable surface. Have his arms relaxed at his side, and the legs relaxed as well. Place the arm electrodes anywhere from the elbow to the wrist on the inner surface. And just make sure they're both at the same level and that the right electrode is on the right arm and the left electrode is on the left arm. Place the electrodes for the legs anywhere from the knees to the ankles, again on the inner surface. Let's move on to the chest or V-lead placement. This can be a bit more difficult than the limb leads. We first find the clavicle and the sternum and go under the clavicle, find the first intercostal space, second intercostal space, third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space. V1 and V2 are exactly on either side of the sternum in the fourth intercostal space. The next important landmark is to find the clavicle. Go to the midpoint of the clavicle, go in a straight line down to the fifth intercostal space and that's the placement for the V4 electrode. These are the only electrodes on the chest that have anatomic landmarks. The other electrodes are placed relative to them. Next, we do V3, which is placed on a straight line between V2 and V4. It's not an inner space, it's on a straight line in between. Then, as if a belt is passing through V4 around the chest, place V5 in the anterior axillary line and V6 on the mid-axillary line. Don't curve up the inner space, but stay on that belt going on a level set by V4 in the fifth intercostal space. Now for a demonstration of placing the electrodes on a mannequin. There are two types of electrodes we can use. One is a snap electrode. This is a very convenient electrode because it sticks better than the clip electrode, but it's more expensive, so we usually use clip electrodes which requires an alligator clip. We'll demonstrate on the mannequin with the clip electrodes. The athlete is on a flat, comfortable surface and relaxed with his arms at his side. We'll first wipe the general areas on the inner surface of the arms and of the legs, and then the general areas of the chest. Again, with an alcohol pad, allow it to dry. Then take a dry gauze pad and rub the same areas that clear off any oils and dirt, improve the transmission of the ECG signal. Then place the electrodes on the inner surface of the arms and of the legs. And next, go to the chest, find the clavicle. And under the clavicle, the first space is the first intercostal space. The next is the second intercostal space, then third and then fourth. So on either side of the sternum, that's the placement for V1 and V2. Again, with the tabs in the direction the wire is going to come. Go to the clavicle again, find the midpoint of the clavicle, come on a straight line down to the fifth intercostal space. And that's the placement for V4. These are the only precordial electrodes with anatomic locations. Go in between V2 and V4 on a straight line and place V3 there. Then, with the level of V4 set correctly at midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space, extend a belt around the chest on a straight line, find the anterior axillary line, and place V5 on those lines, and then place V6 on the mid-axillary line. Again, don't curve up the inner space, but go on a straight line. As a quick check, V1 and V2 should be on a line above the nipple, while 4, 5, and 6 should be below the nipple. And that's the correct electrode placement. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do a perfect electrocardiogram. Thank you for your attention.